Hi, I'm Paul from Displays to Go. I'm going to show you how to set up cut files within any version of Adobe Illustrator. Cut files are also known as die lines or knife lines. A die line or knife line is a graphic element placed in artwork. It's used as a template to produce a die. Die enables the printed artwork to be die cut to a particular shape to suit your requirements. A cut file refers more to when a CNC router is used to cut and crease the shape. Firstly, ensure all your artwork is set up in CMYK format. So in the main menu, go to File, scroll down to Document Color Mode, and make sure CMYK Color is checked. In order the die lines can be separated from the CMYK artwork so they don't print, they're typically set to a spot color or Pantone PMS color as it's known. Sometimes only one color is used, the cut line is set as unbroken and the fold line is set as dashed. We prefer the cut line is set to one color and the fold line is set to another. Then they're placed on their own separate layers and named. This works better for CNC routers. To create a spot color swatch, in the menu, go to Window, Swatch Libraries, across the Color Books, and then down to Pantone Solid Coated. And this brings up the spot window. Also, we need to get up the swatch window. So back to Window. and select swatches. Now simply click on color like road mine red and you'll see that jump into the swatch window. Now let's choose another for the fold, say process blue. So to create your die line on a separate layer, we need to bring up the layers window. Up to window, down to layers, now create two new layers with this small icon here. We'll relane those layers. Full cut. Fold. And we'll call this our artwork layer. Now to create your die line, first of all, choose your color so you want no fill and the outline you want to select one of our spot colors let's select Rotomine Red then choose your pen tool make sure you're in the same the right layer and simply start creating your die line Now let's create a fold line, so select your fold layer, change the outline to process blue, select your pen tool again, and simply create a fold line. Click back here to switch it off. This can be edited or moved around. You can choose the node on the end, move it wherever you want. It's really important to set the die lines to overprint stroke in attributes. This is so the die line doesn't knock out the artwork behind it in the separations. So in the menu, go to Window and get up Attributes. So select one of your die lines and choose Overprint Stroke. Select the other one, select Overprint Stroke. The die lines can be made up of individual segments or it can be continuous line like the example I did. And that's about all there is to it. Thank you very much.